Okay, I'm going to show you guys how to walk through the process for color coding a calendar inside of SharePoint. Uh, I'm going to show you this on Office 365, so SharePoint Online, uh, but this will work the exact same way in either SharePoint 2013 uh, or SharePoint 2010. So I just created a new calendar uh, on the site. You can see that it is blank. It has nothing but the calendar itself. So let's start this process. Uh, I'm going to go up here first to the ribbon, to the calendar tab. Come all the way over here to list settings, because uh, a calendar is a list inside of SharePoint for all intents and purposes. All right, first thing that we want to do is we want to look at this category column, because that's what we're going to use to filter and color code our calendar. So let's take a look at that. So by default, it's got, if you scroll down here to the additional column settings, it's got all of the categories available here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take some of these out. I don't really need work hours. I don't need business. Uh, gifts, I don't know how that would be a calendar event. So that looks fine. We'll leave it uh, as those couple. So come down, hit OK. Uh, so you could obviously go through on that category column and make those into whatever you need to, you know, filter by. So that could be your corporate events, that could be um, important meetings, that could be um, RFP due dates, you know, anything. Um, it's just a text field. So once you've got the category settings to, to what you want, have all of the, the things in there, uh, you're ready to create what are called views. So you come down here to views. So again, this is your calendar list settings. If you scroll all the way down, you'll see the existing views. So there are a couple by default. We're going to create a few new views. So create view. Uh, since this is a calendar, we want to create a calendar view. I like to just use the existing view of calendar here because I know it's got all the same settings that I need. Okay, so we're creating a view. Uh, we're going to give it a name. I like to keep my names consistent with the filter I'm going to apply to it. So I'm going to call this one Meetings. And if I scroll down here, leave all of this the same. If I scroll down to Filter, this is where I'm going to make my change for this view. Instead of showing all of the items, I'm going to show just items that uh, meet a certain set of criteria. So that criteria is going to be show items when category is equal to meeting. So when you put this in, you're going to want to be careful. Uh, just make sure that it matches uh, what you have in that category column uh, exactly. So if I were to put in meetings here, uh, it wouldn't work because it's looking for a category of meeting. So you just want to make sure that those are consistent. Okay, so that's all I need to do there. I'm going to click OK to save it. Uh, we're going to go in and create two more uh, views for this. So I'm going to come down here, create another view, use calendar as my starting point. So I'm going to call this one holidays. And I'm going to come down here to the filter section. Again, click show items only when the following is true when category is equal to holiday. Okay, <clears throat> so I'm going to use those two for my color coding, but I need to create another view. Uh, and this is maybe the most important step. Uh, so make sure that you don't miss this when you're going through your setup. So you're going to create another view. Uh, again, use your calendar as a starting point and call this one, like I'm just going to call it normal calendar. And the difference in this one is that we're still going to have a filter applied and still going to use that category column, but we're going to leave this blank. Uh, I'm also going to go ahead and I'm going to make this the default view so that when I land on my calendar from clicking any of the links on the system pages, it's going to go to this by default. So, okay. Uh, you can see up here in the URL, there it is, there's my normal calendar view uh, as a page. So here it is, our unfiltered, uncolor um, coded calendar. No overlays, no events, no nothing on this. Uh, so the next step is we're going to go ahead and create those color-coded calendar overlays. So if I come up here again to the Calendar tab, I'm going to see this button here under Manage Views. It's Calendar Overlays. So give that a click. You're going to get to the Calendar Overlay Settings, right? 
Here it is. It shows you the additional calendars that this calendar is using. Right now we have nothing in here. Uh, you do get this call out though, that the maximum number of calendars per view is 10. So keep that in mind. You can uh, color categorize things up to 10 categories. So I could have 10 different colors showing on uh, my calendar at one time, but not more than that. So if you've got a ton of categories, uh, just know that you're going to be limited. So maybe um, you can create, you know, a couple different views and, and break those down so that you don't have more than 10 different categories uh, on any calendar. So anyway, that's the overview there. We're going to go ahead and create a couple of these now. This is where you actually assign the colors and everything to your events. So new calendar, give that a click. Again, I'm going to keep these calendar names consistent with the views and the categories that I'm assigning. So I'm going to call this one meetings. Uh, if I come down here, you're going to see that under list and under list view, I've got nothing, nothing under my drop downs. Uh, that's because I haven't resolved anything yet. So uh, by default, it'll load your site URL in here and you're going to hit resolve. It's going to look for a calendar and it's going to pull that into the list and any calendar views that you've created are going to be under list view. So let's go ahead and do that. So there you see my calendar and under list view, you're going to see the other views that I made. So let's do meetings since that's what we're creating up here. Uh, you also get to select a color. Now by default, this is what SharePoint's going to give you. Not a whole ton of variety, not the prettiest colors either. Uh, these can be changed, but you kind of need some development uh, expertise to do that. So. Let's just go with what they have here because I don't want to get into any more of the detail there. Let's say that meetings, that's going to be dark green. Here you can see the preview of the dark green. Uh, and that looks good. So calendar name is meetings, list view using meetings, uh, which we know is filtering for any event with a category of meeting. So here we go. I'm going to click OK on that. So there's one of our filters for color coding. We're going to create another one for holidays. So holidays. We're going to make this one red. We're going to click this resolve button again. Click holidays for our list view and click OK. So now we've got everything set up. We've got our blank calendar. We've got our separate views for meetings and for holidays. We've assigned these calendar overlays and given them colors. So we're going to click OK. It's going to take us back to our normal calendar here. Uh, you're going to see that the calendar is displayed in the view that we're looking at right now. Our calendar, which is the default blank one, meetings and holidays. So the only thing that we're missing now on this calendar obviously is events. So we're going to go ahead and create a couple events. A new event. And let's give this a title. Let's say this one's going to be one of our meetings. So we're going to call it meeting. Let's sure we'll leave it for today. Category is going to be meeting. Okay. So this is where the magic happens. Uh, when I click save, it should put an event onto my calendar and it should be green. Hey, there it is. Perfect. Okay. Let's try another one. Let's do a holiday on here. Holiday. And let's make this one be something like next week. So starts next week, ends next week, category is holiday. And we'll save. Hey, there's my color coded uh, event for holiday. So also, you know, you can always click into these calendar views to get uh, just those filters. So if I wanted to just see my meetings, I can click that. If I want to go back to my calendar, I can click that. Um, so that's how you color code calendar items inside of SharePoint. And again, this works in uh, SharePoint Online 2013, 2010. Uh, pretty simple to do, um, but that's it. That's it. Thanks.